In this example, we will convert a decimal value into its binary equivalent. To convert a decimal value like 29 to its binary equivalent, we're going to use division. We are attempting to convert a base 10 number to a base 2 number. As a result, we will be using 2 as our divisor. We take the original number 29 and we divide it by 2. This gives us 14 remainder 1. This is the first step. For our next step, we use the quotient 14 as our new dividend. So we take 14 divided by 2, and that gives us 7 remainder 0. We repeat this process again, using 7 as our new dividend. Once again, dividing by 2, the base we wish to convert into, we get 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 remainder 1. We keep this process up for two more steps. The idea is you keep doing this process until you arrive at a quotient of zero. For us, that happens when we divide one, or we take one divided by two. This gives us zero remainder one. At this point, we can stop. But how does this lead us to the binary equivalent? If we look at the series of divisions, we notice that we have a remainder in each case, either a 1 or a 0. Remember that binary numbers are just a mixture of zeros and ones. It's these remainders which tell us what the binary equivalent of 29 is going to be. The binary equivalent of 29 is 11101. One, one, the way we arrive at that is we look at the remainders, in our case here going from the top down, the values for those remainders become the digits of the binary number, going from right to left. For example, the first remainder of 1 becomes the rightmost digit of our result. 0 becomes the next rightmost digit, and so on and so forth. At this point, we have taken the value 29 and converted it to its binary equivalent of 11101.